During the Second World War, Arsenal of Democracy was the slogan used by U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt, in a radio broadcast delivered on 29 December 1940. Roosevelt promised to help the United Kingdom fight Nazi Germany by giving them military supplies while the United States stayed out of the actual fighting. The president announced that intent a year before the attack on Pearl Harbor, at a time when Germany had occupied much of Europe and threatened Britain. Nazi Germany was allied with fascist Italy and the Empire of Japan. At the time, Germany and the Soviet Union had signed a non-aggression treaty under the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact, and had jointly effected the invasion of Poland, a realpolitik deal that remained effective until the Operation Barbarossa, the Nazi invasion of the Soviet Union, in 1941. Roosevelt's address was a call to arm and support the Allies in Europe, and, to a lesser extent, arm and support the Republic of China, in total war against Nazi Germany and Imperial Japan. The Great Arsenal of Democracy came to specifically refer to the industry of the U.S. as the primary supplier of materiel for the Allied war effort. The slogan, Arsenal of Democracy, refers to the collective efforts of American industry in supporting the Allies, which efforts tended to be concentrated in the established industrial centers of the U.S., such as Chicago, Detroit, New York, Philadelphia, and Pittsburgh, and other places.